This week's business book recommendation is for You're Not Listening by Kate Murphy. This book is about what's stopping us all from listening, really listening, why we need to get better and how you can. So what did I learn? Well, I thought of myself as a good listener until I read this book. I learned what listening really is. We know it's different to hearing, but this book teaches you it's so, so much more. It's observing, noticing tone, it's true curiosity, it's withholding judgment, it's clarifying, it's answering the question, why is this person telling me this? As well as what is this person telling me? It's letting go of your own fears. To be a good listener, you leave the other person with a sense of being listened to. As the book describes, lots of us think we are good listeners, but when asked who listens to you, most people could only respond with one or two people, if they were lucky. What did it make me think differently about? The impacts of fear. I'd always thought about my fears in the context of how they make me feel. This book helped me see that there are effects beyond that. One of the causes of not listening is fear. We're afraid of not knowing what to say next, so we prepare rather than listen. We're afraid of having our opinion changed, so we listen to supporting views and don't listen to the others. We're afraid of the unfamiliar, so we stop listening if we don't feel safe. I'd always thought I need to get over fear. For me, I never thought my fears would be impacting others, especially not my ability to listen. What actions did I take? I've changed a lot of what I do to become a better and better listener. One example is focusing on listening for the why, not just the what. Genuinely being curious, fighting my urge to fill the gaps in and trying to understand the reason someone is telling me something, the, the relevance to them, not just the information they're passing on. Clarifying with open, not leading questions. What's the impact been? Well, I feel I've discovered some hidden secret. Ironically, I feel like taking the time to listen has actually sped me up. When talking to clients about their problems, I've been able to get to the problem behind the problem way faster. I've been able to deliver less work that is more relevant and better received. My networking skills have improved by remembering that everyone is interesting and it's on you to listen to find out why. Everyone becomes interesting. It becomes exciting to network, not scary. I could talk for hours about what I've learned, unlearned, realised and reflected on reading this book. Absolutely fascinating. One of my top reads. Highly recommended. Have a wonderful day.